spring skiing up here can get really, really fun. Spring skiing can get fun. You get you get people in uh, bikinis, men and women. Oh my god, workers are skier pissed. We still don't have any. Where where are you, Vic? Uh, you still have 18 seconds to get your betting in for will I get 100 stacks or not? I already have three. West Montana. So are you guys struggling to get snow as well? I, I like, we have like nothing up here. All in with two sec, holy shit. Give me the globe, give me the globe. It's, it feels so weird being back streaming a game because I did a painting stream Saturday and a cooking stream on Sunday. And I am just, I don't know why, but like, I also, I also move my monitors around a little bit, so maybe that's why it feels a little, a little, a little weird, but... Oh, never mind. First Punisher is that. How's, uh, how's the audio, by the way, for all of you? Audio sounds good, balanced? How was the lasagna? It was delicious. And I actually ate, had more last night for dinner. I, I watched like three movies. I tried to watch three movies yesterday. I watched the, the new Marvel um, Ten Rings movie. I forget the full name of it. Um, I watched that. That was pretty good. Kind of like whatever at the ending, but still pretty fun. Um, and then I watched an old Disney movie, Home on the Range. It's like a bunch of cows that are um, trying to save their farm from a cattle rustler. It was, it, you know, it was it was like one of those old 90s-ish uh, movies, but the animation for the cows still bothers me because the cows have, like, this weird, like, way that their butts were animated. Music's a little loud. That's, that's what I was wondering. Thank you. Uh, give me a second. I'll fix it. Hey Larissa, how you doing? We keep hearing how winter's gonna be harsh and cold. We don't have anything yet and decent snowfall in October. Yeah, like we we actually got six inches of rain in Tahoe in uh like in, in October. And so the mountains got a buttload of snow from that. And so we were like, yeah, look at that. That's gonna be an amazing base, blah blah blah. And we just did like from there it didn't do anything. From there it just it it, it was like 60 degrees every single week. It's really, it's honestly a bummer. Wait, that kills? No, it doesn't. He got out of it. I thought my slow for my hammering. Supposed to study, but I saw your stream. <laughs> Disney Dumpers 3 out of 5. We have a new GIF emote, by the way. We have a new GIF emote. Uh, it is Bahamut, uh, Butthamut Sussy. We have a new emote from the Amazing Straubs. Yeah, thank you, Stark. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Such a good emote. I was telling my friends how I came up with this, and I was just... I was... I, I got one of Straub's slots, and I was like, I don't know what I want yet, but just lock me in for a slot. And then... And then I... <laughs> I was like, I was like having beers at a bar one night, and... I was like sitting there, and I just realized, I was like, I need a Cho'Gall Sussy. It would be perfect. <laughs> So I messaged her immediately, and I'm like, I'm at a bar. I thought of the idea. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Big cues. Big, 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 big. We still don't have sevens. <coughs> Excuse me. Almost 60 stacks in format. Yeah, 64. Is the patch out? I want snow so bad up here. You have no idea. I don't know if we'll get the... Oh, that was a good jump for the Punisher. A jump for the Ana. Okay. Is this the PTR waiting room? Yes. Yes, it is. 
60, 65 stacks at level 7. I mean, they are grouping up a lot for me. This is a bad rotation. I have no idea where the enemy team is on the map, and I only see their Rexar, so that was just a really risky rotation. They could have been stealing our camp with the advantages that they have in the map control. What I should do is just play these lanes as safe as I can. Make sure that I'm not stepping out too far, because they can rotate down from there and just easily kill me. Greed for the globe. So they're all showing mid. Um, my mini wave is about to arrive here. Fun fact, if you're trying to look at where the enemy mini wave is, look at your own mini map. Where your mini wave is will be where the enemy's is. I'm going to barrel roll over the wall. I'm going to go this way in case he tries to swap me. He doesn't, so let's throw a Q. I was going to say, Zeratul seemingly pulled them off, but I think they, yeah, they have tons. Man, they are out soaking us. Are we dying a lot? Oh, a little bit. Where is their experience coming from? A lot from minions. A lot from minions and a little bit from kills. And we haven't matched it with any kills or anything like that, so it's just been unfortunate. And they probably got more camps than us. And another kill here. Uh, There's nothing I could have done for that one. The dunk would have killed him or the triple tap would have. I mean, I could have blocked the triple tap. That's true. Well, oh, give me the free stack. I discovered I had eight tier one emote slots. I'm yeah, no, I have four more. I actually have four whole emote slots that I don't have. Apparently when they added more emote slots for the um, affiliates, they gave partners as well those slots too. So I have I have a shitload of emotes that I need to think. I want to do a, um, I need to do like a, like a Baja laugh or something like that. Like, does anyone know Kagiri's laugh? Incoming Probius buffs, please. Maybe, maybe. Let me know if anyone sees the patch go up, please. By all means, let me know in chat. At me, let me know. Chat, as a new player, how good or bad is it to place in a gold? Gold's pretty good. Gold's, yeah, yeah, I'd say Stark, yeah, Stark has it right. Gold is the average. Gold's a good place to be. I mean, you're gonna get, you're gonna get dumb people, but you're gonna get dumb people in any rank. I mean, look at me. Man, I just, I want, I want something today. I want some sort of patch today. It'd be nice if we had it before Storm League so we can go through it and just like, break it down as, as, a, as a chat together. Gold is pretty good. I did my placements on a fresh account. I, yeah, yeah. gonna stand right here for her. Just make sure that our diva lives. I got 85 stacks right now. 88. Zeratul unfortunately died. This enemy team is just massively ahead in experience. Um, mercenary, mercenaries, kills. Whoa, no, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, I swear, wrong button. Hey, uh. I did not mean to barrel roll right there. Oh, they can dive under tower and easily kill me. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Uh, hey, Actar. I have no idea what I should be doing most of the time, so I was pleasantly surprised. Hey, not bad. Have you played MOBAs in the past before, Krusty? Also, pizza. How you doing, pizza? Also, I agree. Yeah, if we if we could just get anything, if we could just get anything from PTR, a new patch, anything, I'll I'll, I'll take. You know, I'm not I'm not too choosy right now. Can we see the special weekend announcement of uh, Haunted Mines and Forehead Junction being added to CCL? Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not how it works. If if I was the commissioner and I had my way, absolutely it would. But then also CCL wouldn't be as good as it is, so there's that. Um, man, they are just they are just beating us in experience. I mean, we have yeah, yikes, yikes. 
I couldn't even get in range for a gust. Play. I have never played any MOBAs. I remember trying Dota, opening up the map and seeing. <laughs> Stone Brew, Bartender Bob. Oh, fuck you. No, Bartender Bob all day. I actually tried to play Teamfight Tactics last night. Um, no idea what I was doing. I played uh, I played Dota Underlord, so I had like a rough idea of kind of the mechanics in a sense, but like, I, I don't know. I, I got seventh. You have a magnificent beard, you have a magnificent butt. Chat trying to kill me right now. Thank you, thank you for the compliment, Larissa. I appreciate that. That's nice of you. Structure, save me, please. Uh, I have 97 stacks. Let's go, let's go get that last few right here. Boom. 101! 101, you see it. Look, look, you see it. 101. Inting for stacks. I never heard that TFT is being... Uh, I've heard that TFT is having a bit of resurgence. I feel like TFT has always done pretty good. It was just never... Um, it was never really like a big esport per se. Like I guess like Riot's not too invested into TFT on the esport side or something like that. I might be talking up my ass, honestly. I might not know. I know that there's like there's like there's like been big TFT events and stuff like that. Like I know Crowen's casted them. So um, I just don't know to what scale Riot's invested in the TFT department. Gotta play the StarCraft 2 auto battler. <laughs> Yo, dog. I heard you like games inside a game, so we gave you a game inside of a game that we can you can then game while you game. Hey! Got him. That's what I really like about Hots. It's feasible to learn. It's not too intimidating. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Grubby has talked about this quite a bit on his streams before, and he actually has like a really good way to break it down. Like, any MOBA is gonna take time to, to learn everything. You know, what does, you know, Rexar do? You know, what does this symbol mean? Well, that's Bestial Wrath. Like, I know that because I've been playing the game for a very long time, and it's just, you, you learn those things. You know that Misha becomes a very, very powerful bear, she can deal extra damage, blah, blah, blah. But you, you learn that stuff from playing the game a ton. So, like, there's a lot of little things that'll take you, like, over six months to def definitely learn. But, like, basic mechanics, I think, like, you play this game for three to six months and you pre pretty much got most of the mechanics, the understanding of the maps and everything down. Um, whereas I feel like League is, like, it's one map, but it's still so much nuance within the shop. And then camp rotations, and then, uh, you know, matchups, like, oh, this person straight up beats the other person in X lane. But if you play slow, then these people in this other lane, they'll be the ones to, to win out. And then you can win the map because this lane can carry this lane. And it's it's a lot of like, there's so much of that. Um, and I'm sure you could you could draw the same kind of uh, connections in Here's a Storm, but I don't know. I always like this game a lot more. I've always liked this game a lot more. Most of Stormlink has been playing for years and still doesn't have the basic... Yeah, that is true. Most people have no idea how to look at their fucking map. <laughs> Most people don't know how to rotate and try and get a gank. There's a Misha right there. I have Gus, Diva. Shut up. Yep. Yeah, Heroes does a pretty good job of, of kind of teaching you through what's on the screen. I'm going to pre-tap before the fight. Can I even? No, it won't let me because I haven't taken any damage, of course. Why did we jump the Punisher over there, Ana? Oh, okay. I probably could have gusted, but I think she was dead. I think she was just dead. Hey, things of the deep is done. He's got to jump. Jump on the Nazebo. Just trying to get my cooldowns. All right, sorry. Little focus. Oh, this might have been a bad idea. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I was worried that I'd have to use Gus. I was really worried that I'd have to use Gus, but I'm good. We need to take this hero out of the fight. Hello? I could use a hand. 
Diva, shut up. <laughs> if you're wondering how the enemy team got a ahead of us, you can actually see. You can hover your cursor right here on your screen, and it will show you exactly the breakdown experience. Um, we can take a look at it when we're not in a fight. But as chat's basically saying, it's a lot of it's a lot of minion experience diff and then massive diff in kills because look at this. Two to twenty-two. That's yielding a six thousand difference in just that department. I think I die. You should die from tower shots. Okay. I need to get at HP. Two to twenty-two is not ideal. No, 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 it's not. They have passive experience gain from getting more structures. They have mercenary experience from getting way more exper uh, mercenaries. Like look, 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 like four thousand eight hundred ninety from just mercenaries to our what six hundred? So we've gotten like a camp early game. Uh, minion diff is about two thousand. There's passive, which is like six thousand. So you can see there, it's like you know. What is it? Sixty-three thousand to eighty-three thousand. There's a twenty thousand experience diff in uh, in that in that right. <laughs> exactly. It's all it's all psychological. We're we're playing from behind. You know, I'm gonna get wind tunnel, and then we'll we'll gust them into a wall, and we'll lose the game. A lot of math. I I mean, yeah. But it's all spelled out for you right here. You can see it's 15,000 at the bottom. It's like 70,000 to 80 something. But we got 20s. I got wind tunnel, so that should be helpful. Yeah. If we can get some kills now, that'll really close the gap. But we hit 20s. So now, at this point, all you just have is percent based scaling on your hero. You're not going to get any extra talents. So now we can fight on even talent tiers. If I don't die. So that's a good pick. That's a good pick as well. That's huge for us to get uh, Rexar and the Artanis. That's very, very good for us. Killing spree. 151 Q stacks though. Yeah, I deal 93.5% more damage. And they also have their spell armor reduced when I hit them. And I have cooldown reduction. Yeah, so now you can look. Look, look at our, look at our heroic. Look at our heroic now. We have ten thousand from two kills. Okay, then I'll let you take care of that. Time to just burn through all my mana as well. I only need 10 more stacks for it to be nice. Just gonna try and wind tunnel him out. That's huge. That's huge. Punisher, jump backwards. Punisher, jump backwards. Can we just end? We base race. Come back.